Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's all doing good. I hope it's all doing fine. So, you know what time it is? Boom, boom. You know what time it is? Boom, boom. Time for wish to eat for dinner. That's what time it is. Boom, boom. So guys, today we are having a mammoth spaghetti bolognese. I think, I, actually I don't think I know I cook too much spaghetti. But never mind. We'll try and eat it all. And we've got some kind of burnt garlic bread here. Tomato and garlic bread. So, how are you all doing, guys? If you are new to this channel, please press like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. For drinkies, we've got some appetizers in a can. So, let's get digged in. And I've put some cheese on the top. This is a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> mm. Mm. Perfect. Done perfectly. So, today, guys, I had a bit of an anxiety attack. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Obviously, it's the first day of the shop's opening. I'm gonna post this tomorrow. And took me son to work. Already, the roads were busy this morning. And I'm like, So I was fine going there, was I? All right. The roads were busy, but the wind as busy as I expected them to be. And picking them up from the but oh, was a whole other story. Because everything's open, like the beer gardens, every, everything. So picking them up, I drive down and can I just say something? I know the pubs have been closed for so long and I'm so happy that they're open because they can finally make a revenue. I've got nothing against the pubs nothing against them at all it's the people who are going in them if you're going to go to the pub don't take your car and park stupidly on the side of the road where other car users can't get past trying to get along this one road was ridiculous for the way people have parked up just so that they can go into the pub absolutely ridiculous it is like I say, I've got nothing against people going there. I've got nothing against the bars opening. But just, just even take a car. And park like a complete moron. So that was my first anxiety. And then driving there, 
I'm see it's busy. Rush hour traffic. I'm like praying or I'm praying out loud all the way along. I thought oh, I'll pop in last time before I'll actually go and pick him up from work. And obviously I'll park my car up. Who's the walk over at Alsa? And get a bit of a dizzy spell. Now I know it's because I hadn't had anything here because I, I did. I had some, I had breakfast. So I kind of knew that. I had a bit of an anxiety attack. But just in case, I bought myself some hummus and some cheese stick bread and sat and that in the car. Before I came back home, I was pleased to get back home. I was pleased to get home. I was. Feeling a bit better now. Feeling a bit better. So I was thinking today. Thank you again for all the congratulations. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so I was thinking today I'm going to move this out the way before I knock it off. Didn't I? Well, it's going back to work full time. Well, obviously I'm still in work. Um, but going back full time, what I'm going to do is go back to a, a schedule. Um, instead of just posting random days. So I'm going to post on a obviously this is going to go up tomorrow um i'm going to but i'm, I'm going to post oh, excuse me on a monday a wednesday and a friday i don't know what time yet so it's going to be between five and seven o'clock at night um because obviously I don't know what time the breaks are when, for when I'm on night back shift there. Because um, it's like two separate road as like shift patterns. Which I don't mind, obviously. If I minded, I wouldn't have went for the job. So I don't know what time the back shifts are, like breaks are there. So... Once I know for sure, I'll know I've got a set time to to post them for when I'm at work. Do you know what I mean? Because I didn't want to be like abusing the system, I would. You know, so once I get a set time, then I'll let you know.
but the minute in the minute I'll post it like six o'clock. So we'll stick to six o'clock for the now and once I know for sure that's when you know I post a regular time so and I know I'm posting at that time. And we'll have a regular schedule. We will. Yes, some videos will be pre recorded. Just keep that in mind. I know some people don't like pre recorded videos, but you know, it is what it is. Your girl gotta be paying her bills. Your girl gotta be paying her bills, so it is what it is, guys. That crunch. I wasn't expecting that. So, <laughs> thank you so much to the person who's just subscribed to my channel. I just had the notification popped up, so thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I told one of the lasses yesterday at work, who I work with, that I'm leaving. Um, and then obviously when I got in from work last night, I announced it that I was even. So. You now all know. And the reason why I never said earlier is because my boss had asked us not to say anything. Because obviously they wanted to get things sorted. Get like the shifts sorted and that so. Which I respected and I, I said okay then no bother. Um, but to me. Because obviously it's like a husband and wife business. To me it would have been better to, to obviously see sooner. Rather than later. And our husband said the same thing. We need to tell them now. Because we need to get things sorted. Like now. Not a week before. So. He basically said. We need to get this sorted now. The old nose. Now that has leaving. That got weird. I'm just so excited guys. New beginnings. New journey. Oh, kind of weird. I want to tell you something. This spaghetti doesn't seem to be disintegrating. That's not what I'm going to tell you. When I was searching for a job, obviously I was looking for full time. I'm currently in part time. I was like... Am I capable of doing this job? And this is 100% the truth. I was like, am I capable of doing this job? Is it, you know, will I be all right doing the job? And something in my head went, apply for it. 
Go for it, just do it. Let me tell you something. If you might think I'm, I'm sounding strange here, but if a voice in your head says, do it, do it. Don't ignore it. Whether you believe in God, whether you believe in the universe, it's your destiny telling you to go and do it. It is. Don't knock it back. Don't say, no, I'm not going to do it. Because you'll never know the outcome of it. I'm so pleased that I took, that I listened to that voice and took the risk on this interview. And I said, I took a risk by applying for this job. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm somebody who likes to learn new things. I'm excited to learn new things. And I'm up for the challenge. It's that simple. If you're up for a challenge and you like exciting new adventures, go for it. Don't ignore it. Just go for it. Don't ignore it. And if people say to you, oh, you're going to do that, you're going to do that. Which I have had, by the way, and like in the past, where people have said, oh, you know, you shouldn't, you know, you should just stick to part time and blah, blah, blah. Listen, just because I've got the balls to do it, and you haven't. Don't tell somebody else not to do it. Seriously. If people try and stop you from reaching your goal in life, they're jealous. They'll tell you that you're jealous, when in reality, it's them who's the jealous ones, and not you. You're reaching your goal. They're just jealous that they're not doing it also. Mm hmm So go out there and get your dreams. Because at the end of the day, you've got to get it. And you've got to take it with both hands. You have. It's that simple. Your dreams only come true when you take it with both hands, guys. So start manifesting what you want. And go bloody get it. And yes, there are going to be plenty of people out there who are going to try and bring you down and stop you. But you know what you're going to do? You're going to barge through them like a bull in a china shop. And push everybody out your way and get to your destiny and get to what you want to do. That's what you're going to do, right? You're going to be the bull in the china shop. People are going to be coming at you left, right and centre like this. And you're going to go through them and you're going to get there. You're going to have battles along the way, but you're going to get there. That's what I see. So 
So don't stop because somebody has given you a negative comment. Continue on. Because the more you fight, the stronger you get. And the stronger you get, the more they fight back. And the more they fight back, the stronger you get even more. That probably doesn't make any sense. But it does make sense. But don't ever give up on your dreams. You know, like I say, whether you believe in the universe, whether you believe in God, if you get that voice in your head and say, do it. Do it. You know, if you're in a job and your mental health isn't 100%, what do you do? Do you stay in the job? And your mental health continues to, to decline? Or do you search for another job where your mental health is going to rise and you're going to get better? Think about it that way. Do you stay or do you go? What one do you do? I left. Well, I'm leaving. Because at the end of the day, if your mental health is declining in a workplace, it's not good for you. It's not good for you. And always remember, you're only but a number in a, in a workplace as well. You know, the last of work that was outside. It's when you've talked for months about doing better. And I've told this to her as well. It's when you've actually had the balls and went out and done it. I went to Cosa. Because I want a better life for me. So you need to do the same. Do you know what I mean? There's no, it's no good being in your comfort zone. Because your comfort zone, you're not going to get anywhere. You've got to step out of the boundary. You've got to step out of the lines. So remember, step out of your lanes and go and get what you want. Because it's boring seeing in those lanes all the time. You need a bit of adventure. You do. You do. So go and get it, go and live. Go and live your life, guys. You've only got one. Oh. 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 
from his so but yeah don't let anybody bring you down and if they do try to bring you down they're jealous because they aren't doing what you are doing only jealous people try to bring you down because you're trying to make something of yourself they'll call you all their names they'll try and deter you from doing it but in reality it's them who are the jealous ones because they aren't doing what you are doing yes so that's my inspirational quotes for today guys go out and get your dreams go out and get your destiny it's your road you're the author of your book you're the author you have got the pen you you're the author of your book you've got that pen you've got that paper it's up to you what you want written in it and that's what i'm doing but yeah that's the way it is guys you're the author you've got the pen you've got the paper you write what you want in it not anybody else you write what you want in it it's time to shine it's time to rise like you see rise and shine rise and shine and smile <laughs> people don't like it when you smile do they no they don't they don't like it they don't like it when they see you happy. They don't like it when they see you chasing your destiny and going after your destiny and write your own book. You do that. You do that, my sweeties. You do that. Just like me. I'm finally doing it. I am finally setting myself free and sailing along. Just you and us. You and me. You and us. You and me. Yes, Missy. Yes! This is sailing along, along the sea. And trust it, I've had family who have put soon as well, so I know where it's coming from. So, guys, I want to get going again. Thank you so much if you are a new subscriber. I really do appreciate it. And I will get back to you about the schedules. Remember, Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 o'clock. It's going to be the new times for the now. For the now, okay? I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Remember, go and get your dreams. Catch them with both hands.